Yay! Hello everyone, we're back again. Um, I'm a little bit sweaty today, and for once, it's not for one of those reasons I usually am sweaty. Worst joke ever, bro. We're putting That's a, a way to, shit way to start we're, the no, stream. No, 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 we're putting a very cool set together. We'll unveil it next episode. It's not done. I was working my ass off, alright? Couldn't finish it, so next time it's gonna be everybody. You should have heard him trying to do this thing, by the way. We need to see it next week. He was just whinging the entire time in the next room. It was very hard. Like, <laughs> 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 Rousing here is bro. like, I'm really busy, like, you know, setting up the camera. I'm like, yeah, well, fuck you then, you know? All this stuff that happens, every bit of content that we discuss in this show, that's all me, baby. Ah, okay? what about every bit? Uh, the Rage 2 thing, that was me, actually. Thank you. Um, oh, is the audio only on left? Uh, uh, this is my voice on TV. Uh, okay, because we have a new mic, so that's a problem. So it's only on the left. Yes. Well, the uh, left ear is going to get one hell of a show today, everybody. <laughs> one hell okay, of a let's show. Let's see if I can change this here. No, I can't. <sighs> uh, God, that's annoying. That is super annoying. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. Well, hold that for a sec, Sam. All right. So um, if you entertain people. I'll for take a over the show, guys. How's the video quality? Ralph is a loser. Okay. <laughs> Let's just start there. Yeah. Agreed. Good content! Live show! We'll do it live! Fuck it! Um, I think we're gonna have to go back to the other mic today. Oh, That's so annoying, but... Okay. Really? Yeah, I think it's so. It's a really good quality microphone. Um, I have... Um, you can't know. even hear your own voice, Sam. No, I mean the webcam's very good quality. Well, hang on, is the chat saying the video too? Guys, we've hung Cactar, as you can see. Because we didn't like what he looked like, okay? We're making a statement, everybody. Okay, so he's over there now. He might come down later. If he decides to be in a different position. But if he wants to stay like that, then he can fuck off. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is my show now. <laughs> this is just my show. This is what happens when Sam is left to his own device. Is the video camera alright? I've asked that question oh, like six uh, times. I think it looks great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't see Sam. That's why I'm asking what, the chat. Oh, okay. The chat. Um, is the camera good? Uh, is my Herculean face looking nice? Please let me know with a $100 donation, please. Um, okay, guys, we're going back to the other audio. We're going to try. All we'll right. see if we can do this live. I'm pretty sure we can. Um, 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 um. No. No. Okay, wait. We might have to... Um. Oh, man. If we have to restart the stream, that would suck. Uh, no, yeah. you can do that. See? It just said USB ye uh, Yeti. No, no it, didn't. it didn't. We can try it default. We're going to try this, guys. Let's see if you can hear us. Okay. Testing. Can you hear us? Is it is it good? Camera's good. Okay, good. Well, that's an improvement. Ralph, you didn't do it. You didn't go along with it. The last. Shut up, Sam. I'm trying to get the stream fucking fixed. And you're trying to. Fix <laughs> it. Okay. Oh wait, it was really loud. I don't know if it's coming through the right microphone. Wait, this is not getting any power now. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the beauty of this shitty uh, uh, laptop that we use. Uh, everybody, uh, we're always ready for a live show, as you guys can see. So look, at the worst case scenario, we'll have to go back to the left, and the left will just have an orgasmic. Oh my time. god, the left. My left, the left, Yuck. bro. Please, have you put um, it, have you have you put it in yet? Or oh, no? Settle down. Sam. Have you put it in the right? Oh, settle down, Sam. I don't think they can hear me. They can't. Oh, that sucks. I'm making jokes and they can't hear me. Oh, they can. They can hear me. They can hear me. Wait, why is this not getting any power? Uh oh, it's so annoying. Oh, there it is. Okay, we've got lights. Okay, this looks like... Oh, we should have sound now. Okay, okay that's cool. the wrong one. It's not the right one. Lining mic is different from Blue Yeti. No, but it's... Oh, I mean, yeah, that. sure. But okay, that will not default. Let's just double... Just double click on it and make sure. Um, the game looks really loud. Uh, guys, can you... Let's just turn this down. Because it's not on the right mic. Yeah, but... Trust me, just line up. Yeah, there we go. Here we go. That's Blue the one. Yeti. Yes! So what you oh my god, it's just disappeared. Are you okay. actually fucking kidding me? Woo! Yes! Oh my god. Yes! Everyone, so gets to see, everyone gets to see Ralph Trigger. See, every single time you tune in, uh, we, we, I either you know, tell you things that I shouldn't. Like, you know, uh, yeah, we're, example, meeting, we're meeting Hideo Kojima next week. Or, um, you know, Ralph just getting triggered.
think you broke it. Just go back to this, yeah, and just say that we gotta go. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we have to uh, fix up this mic, which, oh, hang on, maybe we can. Maybe. Wait, maybe. Uh, mono e mono. Ralph's getting tricky, everybody. There is a way to down mix to. Yeah, look. Audio to down mix to mono. Mono. Uh, yeah. Down mix to mono. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Okay. Okay. Can you uh, hear us? We did it. Thank fuck. Is it two now? No, it's fine. It's fine. No, like two. Is it both he both he headphones? We got it. There it be sound. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Layman review. I saved the day. Okay, guys. What's the audio quality like? We've got a new microphone. We have okay. a new camera. It's a tiny little thing, but don't touch it. It's does the job. It's very, it's it's thin, but it's long. It, it, it doesn't matter as long as it works and it works well, people. That's exactly all that matters. Right. So okay. So what's been Fail. happening, people? It was Thank you very much. Better oh. before. Yep. Sam's fault. Guy, I can hear you. F, Ralph, Ralph, F, F, loot, loot, <sighs> what's, loot. What's wrong now? What's wrong now? Fix. I can hear you. I can hear. Fix. Oh, there I you see. go. Fix. The yes. problem is that Fix they can the hear mic. Ralph. I get it. Okay, it's low. Okay, is it too low, guys? Is it too low? We can we can jack the volume a little bit. Okay, if it's too low. Um. <sighs> Okay, here we go. All right, All right. So, so everybody, thank you so much for tuning in for Layman Live. We'll do it live. Fuck it. Okay, this is where we cover all the news that we didn't get to cover during the week, and another time that you guys can tell us how much you hate us. So exactly please, right. you can tell us we live. We look forward to it. Okay, we look forward to it. We've got a new, brand new camera. Yes. We've got a nice little microphone now. I might Don't do touch some the ASMR. Top of the mic. Yeah, exactly. Some ASMR. Stop that. Yeah, you like okay, that. you're gonna piss people off, especially me. Okay? And uh, Ralph's in a very cheerful mood today. We've got a wedding later today, exactly. uh, and uh, so it's a it's a packed day full of fun and, and you'll, yeah. adventure. And you'll also notice that uh, we actually have a new whoa. Um, we have a new set behind us as well. Yes, uh, we've got displates up, which we'll put in the link in the description. Displate yep. make metal posters that we love, and I have them at home. And uh, have I told you how much I love display I love guys? Uh, <coughs> They're sponsoring us. <coughs> uh, 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 anyway, what? besides that, display make the best metal posters of all time. The and best. You should buy all of them, and they have a sale this weekend, which is like thirty percent off. I think so they're going to be making some layman stuff too. Which they is are actually. Cool. That, actually, I will provide a link that you can buy layman displates, Bro. and they're just the ghetto ones. If you uh, if you're going on a date and you get lucky enough to bring her back, if she What's sees so the layman display, something you're so in. Something's out of sync now. So oh, I can't even land my awesome jokes because it's out of sync. Is it really out of sync? Is the audio out of sync? Oh god, this is so annoying. We have to get rid of this fucking laptop. It's just absolute garbage. Well, Raph has two laptops over there. Uh, two desktops, and he's like, no, we can't use them, because no, they use it for the stream once a year. <laughs> so we need to actually get a new streaming device, people. But uh, is it bad at the moment, guys, or out of sync still? Everything's everything's bad. So apparently it's too low, it's out of sync. Everything is, is fucked. I have no idea why the sound would be out of sync. It makes no sense. Yeah. Um, we had some juicy stuff to drop today. Some exclusive stuff, which we didn't really have. But tune back in, because I think we'll have to... Uh, I don't, yeah, the problem is you can only troubleshoot this stuff live, so... Oh, we don't, we don't want to be doing this live. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we can, and we can just tell you jokes the whole time. Which uh, is terrible. Ralph, uh, Ralph can start with the first joke. Now there's no sound at all, which is great. So it's, What?! Now it's no sound. How 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 did that happen? Uh, it's just it's definitely picking up sound through the mic. It's just not passing it through um, whatever's going on. Okay, so have you turned it turned the turned the mic up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. The gain. You can see you can see the thing there. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's, it's I mean, all yeah. good for you. Seems fine. Not too bad. Out of sync. Out so, of sync. Very strange. It's not out of sync for other people though. Oh, this is so annoying. I don't know if they're, 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 they they're might not be trolling me, us. They might be trolling us. It's fine, people trolling. Sound is good, yes. Okay. You can hear us. It's completely fine. Okay, maybe people are trolling maybe, us. Maybe, yeah, maybe they're trolling us. Well played. I will if say. they troll us, that would actually be incredible. Okay. All right, we're going to we're gonna keep going and we're going to see if okay. this actually works or not. Here we go. Uh, but you can actually see it somewhat lagging actually in this thing here. See? You know, that's yeah, it. a little bit. But that might, yeah, yeah. So we can actually see it ourselves lagging. Okay, now. it's probably the it's the webcam. People. I think it's the webcam now because it's okay. feeding. It's too been much overused. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying, guys. Uh, should we just change back to the old webcam? I mean, that would be a huge effort. Actually, fuck it. 
Uh, no, but I feel like if we're going to have an out of sync stream, then we need to. So yes. Uh, well, you know, uh, yeah, guys, yeah. it looks like we'll have to do that. It's me again. <sighs> Did I ever tell you guys how much I love all of you? Mate, look, it's not even that loud. Doing ASMR. Layman Gaming is the best. Make sure you subscribe. Hundred dollar donation. Okay, it's a second off. Sam is out of sync, they said. I know, I've been out of sync all my life, people. It's okay. Well, I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to cut the video, okay? And I'm going to tell you a story while it is cut. Once upon a time, I shared a room with Ralph, and he was the most annoying person in the world. Hang on, boring story, wait. It's a very good story. Hang on, let's see if this works. Wow, that, uh, that's... Okay, that's something. I mean, that'll do. Yeah, let me just... Uh, we're going to get this out of focus issue again, but that's okay. We look super washed out. So that's fine. <sighs> washed out YouTubers. That's what we are, people. That the looks angle, okay. The angle. We'll fix the angle. Oh, that's fine. you get to see my... Jock. <laughs> you okay. got to move that thing out of the way or not? That's fine. Yeah. Uh, okay, can we actually see now? Okay. Can we... Can we does this work? Is that better? Are we, are we in sync? 200% gayer. Okay, check, it's check, working. Test, 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 test. I think awesome. we're maybe in sync, maybe not. It looks like we're a little bit behind, but I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, tell us now if this is in sync. One, two, three. Well done, Sam. That's, that was That's the, that visually was the test and that audio. Needed. That's visually and audio telling you if it's in sync. All right, guys. If you stayed with us, you are a true believer. I, don't know, no I, I wouldn't have stayed around for I wouldn't have stayed, I around, wouldn't have stayed around, but you know what? The jokes, you know, I get it. Why wouldn't you stay around, people? Let's get into some fucking news. Okay, first news of the rank. You don't know what the first story is. I yeah, changed, I do. I changed it. Andrew Wilson. <laughs> okay. EA. EA. That's a good guess, actually. That, like 90% chance that would be the correct guess. Andrew Wilson so. is going to be starring in the new Terminator movie. Um, so the first, story, the first story of today is actually to do with Anthem, funnily enough. We thought we'd just no. keep things fresh. We haven't spoken about Anthem much on this channel, but we thought today was the day to start. Let's, let, let's try it. Um, uh, it turns out that, you know how yesterday we reported that, um, you know, they basically wrote, they're pushing out Cataclysms, mm -hmm. which are those events that turned out to be a massive disappointment. Yeah. Um, but anyway, turns out that they've actually just deleted all the contents of their roadmap. So, no way! <laughs> so basically the roadmap had um, a, a content in it before and uh, now not so much, basically. It's kind of just um, not there at all. Wait, wait, wait. Is this happening like in the last 12 hours? Yeah, this happened overnight, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have watched the lame video and they're <laughs> like, fuck! Okay? You know, a lot of people are covering this though. Like, they must have seen a lot of YouTubers, streamers talking about this and going, this is disappointing. I think that they're getting a general consensus now that everyone's looking at this and going, this is a disappointing... You know, uh, you know, journey ahead for the next three or six months. I know. Yeah, Ralph was saying yesterday that he was expecting th that this was going to be some gigantic like. <laughs> oh my god, that was the weirdest sneeze I've ever heard in my life. I'm to hold it in so I don't blast the stream. <laughs> uh, Ralph was saying yesterday that he was expecting this like you know gigantic overhaul. <sighs> oh my god, overhaul to loot. I didn't expect that. Okay, yeah. and I, th th this is was this was exactly what I was expecting from them personally. So the funny thing is uh, here as part of their currently in Anthem, they have legendary missions, weekly alliance, daily weekly challenges, Prospero store refresh. And fixes. <laughs> current, current content in Anthem includes fixes. I'm so glad that a dedicated optimization is fixes. I know, right? So, uh, look, it is obviously pretty tragic for... Um, honest, honest question in the comment section. Like, who the fuck's playing this game? Like, who actually plays this game on the reg? Are we... Anthem is dead. Yeah, died at launch. I love Anthem. I, I, I don't know anyone that's still playing and defending this game. Because even some people that I followed, like, you know, journalists, mm. YouTubers, whatever... Um, so many of which like attacked me when all this was going on at the very start, like yeah. made public videos. You know, <laughs> they're the ones. Yeah. They're, they're not playing Anthem anymore. Like they just they just moved on from it. You know, so no, I I don't I can't point to anyone right now that I say oh, that person's still a really big proponent and supporter of Anthem. I can't think of a single person. Yeah, is this really going? Is this did, did this die faster than seventy six? I I genuinely don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. I feel like they had more of like a rusted on like fan base that just like. Because it was stronger IP but like before, people gave 76, I think, a, a bigger chance. You know, like Anthem was brand new IP. There was no nostalgia attached to it. So yep. like, 
Fallout, I felt like, yeah, it did actually stay around for a bit longer. Mm, uh, yeah, totally agree. And um, actually, that actually brings us to a funny story that we can skip ahead to. If funny story. <laughs> so funny. Can't uh, wait for this. Tell me, Ralph. Um, okay, actually, because while we're on the topic of uh, Fallout 76, we can uh, try and find this. Uh, weird story. Yeah, this is it. Okay, let's let's go ahead for this. Okay, so oh yes, yes, so you're yes, this yes, guy? yes. Okay, yeah, course, so while we're on the topic of Fallout seventy six, there's a modder who is actually rebuilding Fallout seventy six in Fallout four. He's trying to rebuild a really really shitty game inside a pretty average game. I don't like, that's his goal. Firstly, it's going to trigger everyone for saying that uh, Fallout 4 was average. No, but it's not. Trust number me. Two, everyone agrees. Every, every real Fallout fan recognizes two, that Fallout 4 was pretty average. I think that... Why would you... It's like, okay, if he was trying to... If he was trying to, you know, rebuild Diablo 2 Remastered, I'd be like, fucking oath. Why the hell are you doing Fallout 76 for God's sake? It's like remastering Shaq Fu. No one wants to see it. I Apart from us, actually. I, no, I would absolutely that. like to see a remaster. I actually food. would. But, you know, let's face it. Why is what, why is he doing this, people? I'd say okay. what's interesting, though, is that he's rebuilding it. Whoa. Settle down, my magnetic mic pad from Razer, you excellent, Razer, excellent Razer turret product. product that we love. Thank you very much, Razer. There must have been too, too much liquid on the bottom of it. <sighs> How are you using your mice, bro? I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Um, <laughs> so, the funny thing about the way this guy's doing this is that he's actually... Um, because Fallout 4 is set in the future, like... Hundred, hundreds of years after Fallout years. 76, 200 years, he's actually aging the Fallout 76 environments by 200 years. So when you walk into them in Fallout 4, you see how much they've degraded even more. That's a very the, cool concept. Cool. So we, I saw the tour of it when he was walking around like Vault 76, the starting area, which is all pristine in Fallout 76, and it's all sort of like hollowed out and broken and destroyed. When yeah. it. So look, that's pretty cool. But man, I think he really should be devoting his efforts to more worthwhile content. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like, come on, guys. Like, I, I don't think anyone's going to tune in for that. that. That's a big problem. This guy's going to put a lot of time and effort in, and the poor guy's going to have like four people playing. <laughs> you know? like, let's be real. Like, yeah. I mean, I might tune in for the lols maybe and maybe a, for the stream. Maybe he'll get a job it. at Bethesda afterwards. Maybe that's. I, mean, I think a lot of these big modders who do amazing work eventually get hired. Oh, so do that, yeah. Fingers okay. crossed he gets some sort of payout Look, because he's certainly not going to get any payout. He might get paid out. Well, by he, us. I was gonna say he'll, he'll be paid <laughs> but he's out. Not don't get worry about paid that. Out, you know, yeah, but like, out, so. I don't think working with Todd Howard these days is the uh, you know the goal that it used to be for a lot of people. I saw a photo actually recently of Hideo Kojima and um, Todd Howard. And Todd Howard just standing together, being like, Kojima would have been like, <laughs> I'm so much better than you. <laughs> you, know? you would have been just slightly away from Todd Howard. Like, I don't want to be too associated with you now, man. I really feel like the Kojima of the Western area is definitely Corey. All right. Corey Barlog. Corey Barlog. You just say that because we're mates with him. I hate Corey. What are you talking about? All right? I hate God of War and I hate everything about that man. Love you, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Call me. Call me, man. Okay, next story. Next story, everyone. Uh, there's a new Call of Duty coming out. Yay! Yay! I love the new fantastic name now, guys. You probably don't know about this. Uh, they're trying to reimagine Call of Duty. You know, mm. they want to make sure that they, they left the, they, they leave the old shit behind. New game, new story, new everything. Guys, it's called Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So they're really not doing uh, anything drastic with the name. But look, it's apparently going to be a different uh, universe. It's not going to be yeah. the same type of thing, but they're going to have some previous characters. What's the guy that's returning? I don't know. Uh, something. Price. A price, different voice actor or something. Yeah. So there's going to be like a new spin on it. But like, let's face it. After 16 years of straight Call of Duty, going back and just naming it what it was previously before, like, that's not what it needs, in my opinion. That's Who not what it needs. cares about the name? Why do you care so much about no, the name? No, but I'm talking like, you know, fucking give us something else. Like, Call of Duty 2077, you know? Oh, like, yeah, right, nice. <laughs> Call of Duty 76. Yeah, that'd be sick, you know? Cyberpunk, or something. Like, just, just give us like a new, completely different world for, for Call of Duty to, to live That's in. That's what it is trying to do. What are you talking about? No, I'm talking like, okay, I saw a really cool thing recently where Zel uh, Link was dressed up in like Cyberpunk 77 gear, like, Someone was making the concept of he could live in a different type of reality and Zell and Link would have to like traverse through I that think land. You're living in a different type of reality right I'm now. I'm saying son. now is 16 years on. What if Call of Duty was like, guys, we're actually doing Call of Duty on an alien planet? I'll be like, fucking oath, that's sick. They did Infinite Warfare, which is basically that, and everyone hated it. <laughs> oh, it wasn't really though. <laughs> It wasn't really. So what you really want is basically like... Um, uh, I want the, the Covenant want to that. be versing Master Chief, but with fucking Call of Duty stuff. I think there's a market there, Call of Duty versus like aliens and shit. They already do zombies. It's not that far off, people. My point is valid. Comment section. 
Please roast Sam me. Sam is super high right now. <laughs> I'm not it's, even it's high. It's 8am and he's I'm just not fucking high, everybody. baked as fuck. Do you know what I mean? So, uh, that's Call of Duty. Now, there actually are some interesting details about this Call of Duty, right? Um, first of all, we don't know anything about the multiplayer, but the single player stuff, as Sam somehow talked about just then, there's, they're going to be mixing it up some, okay? Yeah. Outside of that, they're also going to be having cross-play across all platforms. That's a first for the series. And it's easily well besides Fortnite I suppose it's the biggest example of cross play that we're going to see in this industry yeah. so the fact that everyone that, that Activision are making this happen with a title as big as Call of Duty I mean really it just becomes a matter of time for every other game you know like Destiny for example people are already asking questions in the Destiny community about when this can happen Bungie are on the record saying we want this to happen it's, it's almost certainly going to happen at this point because there's just too much too much momentum behind it, you know? Yeah, I actually just completely lost our train of thought. What are we talking about? <sighs> Holy shit, are no, you I'm for real? Serious. Yeah, wow. I, was, I was reading the comment section the whole time there. Wow, I told you, you were fucking baked. I'm, I'm actually, joking, but I, like, I, obviously you are. I actually don't do any weed. Like, people think that I'm a massive stoner. Ah, um, Cross-play in that's Call of right, Duty. Yeah, cool. I think the big problem there is... I'm back now, people is, you know, they have to have two separate queues. Because if you're going on Xbox and playing against PC players, I mean, that's fucked. I mean, I don't want to feel... They could have the amazing Razer turret from uh, Razer. Ex exactly right. And have right. a keyboard and mouse With and have, slippery, have no uh, disadvantage mouse. when playing. But I think that, you know, I, I, you need to have two different uh, queues. Because if you don't... I, if every time I dive to some hectic sniper, I'm like, okay, is he playing on PC? Or is he just really good, you know? Hec I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that idea. Hectic snipes, by the way, in Call of Duty just involve hitting someone in like their little their finger foot. their little finger with a sniper rifle that you hard scope true, you know what I mean true. so like that's it um, so look anyway that's Call of Duty here's the thing though and this is my sort of like personal hot take um, I I'm just like after what they did last year with Call of Duty Black Ops 4 I'm like I just have no interest in a new oh, COD game? no trust mm. oh the other thing is no season pass by the way mm. that's the first time that COD is abandoning the season pass model um cool great because that was a really shitty model and it really killed all previous CODs really especially on the PC where the play base isn't as robust mm. so no no season pass is good but it's Activision man and it's Call of Duty if you don't think they're going to get their pound of flesh by some means then you're fucking crazy yeah I, I just think that yeah they made such a great kind of comeback to ga to gamers that had left Call of Duty behind you know I mm. think it was a, a really good rebranding strategy and then just to do that whole red dot shit and like the monetization completely fucked that game. It just pissed yeah. so many people off. It did. And again, like, there's not a lot of trust now around this game. A lot of hardcore players that are very monetization conscious are going to be like, fuck this, I'm not even going to look at this in the future. Yeah, you know? yeah, totally. And I think that Activision, know, like, knowing that it's its only really strong IP, they should treat that in the most delicate way. Oh, is, that the, is that the middle I'm trying to make it centered for the um, okay, OCD cool. people. Go is on, that, continue, that, Sam. Yeah. So I really, Sorry, bro. I, just was, I was just... I lost, I I lost, lost my, my train, train of thought. thought. I was just thinking about other Matt things. Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think that that's the main thing there. You know, I think that if, if that's their main IP, then they really need to make sure that... Yeah, I mean... It's their only IP at this point. It's their only IP. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to... For, you know what would be really cool if they did VR Guitar Hero? That could totally work. Uh, it's already done. It's called Beat Saber. Yeah, I know Beat Saber. But I'm talking like you look down, you see the guitar, and you're like, you know, you're looking in the crowd and shit. They can do that. They can bring that back. Beat Saber is already going so well. Imagine a guitar here over VR. Touch controllers. Uh no, like it um like the actual guitar is VR ready. <laughs> and then once you press this button, you look down and like the finger press it could work, okay? And I think that'd be a sick thing for them to do. What the fuck? <laughs> Everyone would love that. Imagine if you put VR goggles on and then the actual guitar is VR ready and you move it around and it's all in the world. You I'm are you are really on form today. I, I am on to something. <laughs> that is a good idea. I would totally play that. Okay, so um, Guitar would. Hero in the comment section. Let us know if you want to see Guitar Hero VR. If you could imagine this working by any means at all. I personally can't, but maybe someone could imagine it. And that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. Next story. I guess. Next story. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next story. <laughs> Let's move right along. Next story. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass on PC. Interesting. Interesting. Um, okay, so the by the way, thank you very much for Denmark, been to your beautiful country, great place. Oh, 89 DKK DK DK. <laughs> so, um, so okay, Game Pass. Now, Game Pass. If anyone doesn't know, the Xbox has this really fucking awesome deal where you pay like six bucks a month and you get access to like a hundred games. Is it? I think it's, I think it's like twelve. Okay, no. Anyway, whatever. whatever. But it's like so cheap, and you just get tons of games. 
some pretty good ones in there as well because obviously yeah, sure. Microsoft's library of exclusives isn't the strongest, but they also have a lot of third party stuff in there as well. They've got Gears of War in there, and they've got Halos and stuff like that. Like Halo Five, what? Hello. Hello. No, but there's, there's um, some good stuff there. Did was Forza part of that? I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure it would have been. Yeah, there, I think so. so. Look, Look at this guy hate from Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> <Absolute> <laughs> Thank legend. you. Thank you very much, my friend. God, I think that uh, I, I think subscription models are definitely the way, and more and more people are doing it. And uh, look, and, and it's coming to PC. So it's coming to PC. That's the big announcement here. And um, I think that that could be really good because at the moment Microsoft is doing this whole like play Xbox also complements your PC, yes. and this kind of falls into that, you know. And if they can be known in the marketplace of being like, okay, you buy an Xbox, will you also get stuff on your PC? That's a really good way of like, you know, putting a value proposition forward that PlayStation or Nintendo can't do. Totally agree. Even the games we've got, like the PlayStation Plus free games, doesn't hold a candle to what this will be, um, or what this is already on Xbox. Yeah, and now yeah. for PC players to be able to have access to this is just a pretty big deal. Um, there's no details about it specifically, except they said they're working with Bethesda, oh! so we can expect Fallout 76 oh, yes. on the PC for $5 a they're month. They're working I with mean, Sega. That's I'm about looking, looking forward to the new Sonic uh, game. Well, I mean, Sega has got some cool stuff to be honest, like the Yakuza series or whatever yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. Xbox, yeah. all their exclusives. Paradox do a whole bunch of strategy games. Um, yeah, I mean, they're quite, I would say, I wouldn't say niche, because it's certainly got a large audience. But, Devolver? Uh, Devolver are indie titles. Like yeah. They've got John Wick, Hicks, uh, John Wick Hex coming out. Uh, My Friend Pedro. Hotline Miami is their old classic from the back in the please. day. Um, and then Deep Silver, they were the ones that published Metro Exodus. Uh, a few other things. So you've already got some cool names lined up there and you're certain to see some other names. Not to mention all the well. other studios that they've recently bought and they're working on some more titles. Uh, correct. Well, that's the Xbox Game Studios, and they've got. Sure. Four, fine, fine. I think they're showing 14 games, 14 Xbox exclusive, Xbox New. Studios games at E3 this year. Yes. Wow. So they're going all in on that, which is obviously very exciting. Most powerful console ever. Most powerful console ever. Um, which actually brings us to. We'll mention right now that we're actually not. Because next Saturday, we're not going to be here. We'll, no. be, we'll be on the plane to Los Angeles, mm. going to E3, and we will be flying as sponsored shills of Microsoft. They're paying us. They're not actually paying us. They're just paying no, for our flights paying and accommodation. So they're just sending us over there to like watch the show. Watch and talk the show. About it. Say how fantastic it exactly is. Exactly right. Okay. And but they didn't allow us to bring Cactus. So that's well, a he's shame. green though. He's green. So I reckon we could do it. <gasps> that's a good idea. Should we bring Cactus? Give me the official Xbox mascot. Uh, Phil, what do you think about this? He's like, I'm not sure about the shape. Nah, I'm not I like, sure about that. Are you able like to move him at all? <laughs> you know. Right. I'm just like, he's just flexing. Jesus, so, all right. That's all he's doing, people. So we uh, we might do a live show next Friday instead of Saturday. We'll let you know throughout the uh, week what the plan is. Because yeah, sure. that could work. Because otherwise, mm. we'd have to miss the Saturday show, which we don't want to do. We don't want to miss And then that. we'll certainly do at least one live show um, at E3. So you have to tune in for that. There'll yeah. be lots of videos during E3. And we're, fingers crossed, we're mm. going to be sitting down with our very good friend, Hideo Yon. Kojima. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Yong, yeah, that's the plan to be hey, sitting Yonga. down. We're going to do a crossover again. Okay, top 10. Anime crossovers. We're gonna do it again, and uh, it's gonna be pretty cool because we do love our young yeah. We love our young memes, really. We but do. We do. I think so it's, we had a great show with him last year where we just yeah, recap D three. Had yeah. a really good chat. It was so good to meet Yong. And the other, the funny thing is. If you, like, hear Young on camera, he f seems really, like, kind of... News, reviews, and Exactly. Discussions. Very straight, laced, Young, very yeah. kind of boring. But if you meet him in person... <laughs> but it's true, though. No, like... This is live, everybody. No, it's true, though. No, like, no, no. He's, he's, not, he's, not, like, he's not, like, like cracking memes he, and whatever else. Uh, I think what I was trying to say is he's very... Let's get to the news and this. Yes. Let's, it's all about facts and let's just get that. Where Young in real life is so bubbly. He he's is, so actually. like, hey, how are you guys? Good yeah, to see yeah. you. Very different to the to, to the persona yes. that he puts on camera. Totally. Saved you, Ralph. Anyway, so <laughs> what are we talking about now? Uh, good question. We'll go to the next story. Next young video. Uh, <laughs> so right. Don't even call me boring. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. That's really good. Um, okay, so well, this is actually a really good story. Let's 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 do this, right? Let's do um, Microsoft will distribute more Xbox titles through Steam and finally support Win32 games. So. This is a really big deal because this is massive shade being thrown at the Epic Games Store yep. by Microsoft. Um, yeah, TLDR, Xbox are saying that their plan going forward is to release all of their stuff on Steam. Yeah, I, now, love, I love their reasoning because they it's a good reasoning because they want to make sure it's as, it's uh, uh, accessible to as many PC players as, as, as possible. Correct. But they didn't put it on Epic Games. <laughs> so it's no, like, they didn't. I don't really know if that if that works. I don't know if that's I, actually, you I know... Wonder. I, I wonder. I wonder if that's the reason, everybody. It yeah. sounds like Gabe and, you know, Xbox go way back and they're like, hey, do us a solid, don't go to Epic Games. And mm. like, I got you, boy. I got mm. you, fam. Mm. And I actually like that, to be honest. I think it's good. I, I would have 
mind, I wouldn't have minded if they were on both platforms, right? Mm. But, you know, for Xbox to continue this whole value proposition of like, not only are we doing Xbox and PC kind of together, we're also going to give you other outlets to buy those games, you know? It just looks very pro-consumer. It looks very it pro-choice. Yeah, you know? it, it really is pro exactly... Choice. <laughs> well, well <laughs> that's Jesus. a whole other discussion, uh, everybody. A different channel. <laughs> um, yeah, look, I mean, at the end of the day, this is exactly what the market is crying out for now in their response to the way Epic Games is driving their agenda. Yeah. Um, Epic Games' approach is legal right and mm. it's like no one can say that they shouldn't do it but it's clearly doing themselves a lot of damage in terms of their brand and reputation where anytime the epic game store is mentioned everyone just hates on it you know mm. so you know i wonder whether or not we'll see a bit of a pivot in that strategy going forward because of just how much backlash they've got and now you've got major companies like microsoft coming out and saying oh by the way we're going to do exactly the opposite of those fucking idiots over there because yeah. we're with you the players you know it's it's hard to really look stare down that level of backlash for too long I just think I, I do think it's just a marketing strategy on Xbox's side I don't think I they're mean, sitting there going oh I want to make sure we're the best to the gamer they're like I do think they're actually thinking that look, I really do they might but what I'm saying is they might be looking they might that. be looking at this and going this is a great strategy for us to get more people on board. And that's there's nothing wrong a, a, as a business doing that. They don't have to sit there and look like the Mother Teresa of gaming to be like, we want to do the best for, you know, they, they could easily be like, hey, Epic Games looks like a shitty company right now. Let's make sure that we look like we're for the players and we get more and we, we get more people on board because of it. For sure. Perfect. And, and yeah, I mean, look, this is the thing that kind of to your earlier comment about, you know, Xbox, you know, do they want to be player centric? Is it just marketing, whatever? Phil Spencer, first of all, is a dude, right? He's the head of Microsoft. And I thought Xbox he was a whammon. He, he's like a, he's a proper gamer. He's a proper lad. Like he really understands what this thing is. He's yeah. not. Some I also think Andrew corporate. Wilson looks like a lad. I really do. He looks. No, like, I reckon Andrew he looks Wilson, like a proper no, lad. Reckon, he's an Aussie bloke. All right, he no, takes his skin off. You know, <laughs> yeah, he 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 oils no. his armor. He's like, Let's nah. have a drink with the lads. <laughs> nah, Phil Spencer's the kind of guy that if you went to like a club with him or whatever, yeah, he'd, he'd have just a be good like time. on the dance floor having a good time. And Andrew Wilson would be in like that VIP booth, like four stories up, <laughs> yeah, with like yeah, all the yeah. thousand dollar bottles of vodka just sitting around there, just being like, and then no <sighs> no one's talking to him. Like, yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I imagine the difference between Phil Spencer and Andrew Wilson, right? I think Ralph's just saying this because we're getting spawned to Xbox. Everyone. I think Ralph hates <laughs> Phil Spencer. That's what's no, really going no, no, on. Everyone here, knows well. what Phil Spencer's about, right? And no, I he, he and does give off the persona like, hey, like that. You know, he yeah. does look very relaxed. And, he does. And 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 I think that like they need to rebuild their like gamer brand in this generation. Yeah, because they lost this generation. They totally, did, totally comprehensively you know? got creamed. And I feel like Phil actually kind of owns that because at the gaming game show when um, Jeff Keighley was like, hey, you know, good year, kind of Phil was like, oh, I'm not sure about that. You know, like he was kind of sure. like, I know what, I know that we haven't done our best thing. Yeah. And then I think that, you know, buying all these studios, trying to get their yeah. next gen ready and all this kind of stuff. It just looks like... Yeah. It's just, I'm just glad to see that Xbox are putting up a fight. Do you know what I mean? Because they, they yeah. could have just rolled over and said, oh, we're going to deprioritize investment in the Xbox business and blah, 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 and just like sell it off into the sunset. But they're actually putting up a fight, which means that you're going to get a good contest between Sony and Microsoft yeah. on hardware, on on software, you know, like or Death Stranding, for example, coming out, Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, you know, and that's just this generation from Sony. Who knows what we've got coming next generation? Yeah. Next God of War, next Horizon Zero Dawn, next whatever. Next Snack 3. But look, I think that also with Microsoft, uh, they they won the previous console war with 360. Now, I know maybe PlayStation 2, and I think it ended up selling more, but I feel like the influence that Xbox had with 360 was far bigger than, than PlayStation 2, personally. So I look at that and go... I don't know, man. I'm not sure about that. I feel like everyone had a three. I, I mean, personally, in my circle, I felt like I feel like everyone had a three sixty. I totally agree, and I feel like you know? no one had a PS three until like back, like yes. late in the cycle, yes, when the price yes. came down. So. Yeah, and I think that uh, they can easily do that again. You know, if they've got a lot of strong IP coming from these new studios, and Ralph's gone off camera, so okay. I think I think the that they can. Quiet, so I'm just trying to turn it up a bit. Yeah, I go think, on. I think they can. I think they can definitely come back if this new console is strong enough. And if they get away from this whole emphasis on the most powerful console ever, it really They're not going to get away from that. They'll I definitely mean, be saying that. So. Okay, I'm sure they will. But what I'm saying is it should be like most powerful console with the biggest uh, you know, library of new IP, biggest library of upcoming exciting titles because that's what sells games. Nintendo doesn't care about how strong their, their strong their console is. They care about how strong their IP is and that's why they're one of the biggest players in the market. It's, it's all about IP. Yeah, know? sure, sure. <laughs> Alright, cool. Well, uh, let's move on. Speaking of new IP, well, actually not new IP, sorry, old IP, but uh, what the hell? Where's my mouse gone? I need uh -oh. it. Hello. There it's it is. There. It's over there. Um, there's a new uh, There's a new Darksiders game coming. So yeah, I've never played Darksiders. Darksiders. Okay, right. So, uh, Darksiders 3 came out earlier this year, 
And uh, not earlier this year, sorry, it was last year. And no one seemed to like it, which is kind of disappointing because I played it and I thought it was pretty good. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was pretty solid. Mm. And uh, I was a bit worried that we wouldn't see a Dark Siders 4 because it's basically the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And we were going to get the fourth one, Strife, I think, um, mm-hmm. which is basically sort of like dual wield pistols. And it's going to be kind of like a... It should be a very different gameplay formula than we've seen with the melee heavy versions of the previous Darksiders games. Everyone was hoping that... Um, Red Dead. <laughs> Red Dead style. What? No, just like dual pistols and shit, yeah, you sure. know? So everyone was a bit worried that, that we wouldn't see another Darksiders um, because of the critical reception the last one got. But we are seeing a new one. It's coming at <laughs> uh, E3 and that's the news. Great. Well, yeah. uh, we got more D K K thirty five. We do have more. We need to make they, they, they need to know, make another Donkey Kong rap. Wasn't that fucking sick? That was pretty good, actually. That should so. be the ending song of one of our new videos coming up, people. <laughs> Letting you on, lame and live. We let you know what's what, what the new stuff is going to be. And uh, on to the new There's stuff. Actually, more Baldur's new Gate stuff. Three, everybody. Wow, no, way to spoil it. Great drop, Sam. That's that was really pretty good. good. You got to at least build dun, it up dun, a little dun, bit. Dun, dun, we didn't dun, do the drop and start. Oh, we didn't do the drop. So, uh, little known game called Baldur's Gate uh, might be getting a sequel now. Um, did you ever play Baldur's Gate? I played uh, two Dark, of them. I think you played Dark Alliance. I played the one on uh, Xbox, and I played a little bit of the one that you previously had. Yeah, the, the Dark Alliance one was very Diablo-esque. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I played Baldur's 2 Gate... on that shitty PC that we used to have. Yeah, yeah, that's right. God, that was back in the day, everyone. Um, I played uh, Baldur's Gate. It was one of... It's absolutely one of... Baldur's Gate 2 is just absolutely one of my favourite games ever. Incredible game. Mm. Um, and from, you know, back in, back in the glory days of the CRPG genre. Uh, Larian Studios are teasing that they are working on a sequel. Um, now, Larian Studios are the guys that did Divinity Original Sin 2... That was almost unquestionably PC Game of the Year last year by most publications. Uh, certainly by critical review, uh, critical scores. It was in, or was it the year before actually? I think it was last year. But just in, just just crazy critical reception. Um, everyone absolutely loved it. Extremely talented de- developer, and also the spiritual successors <clears throat> to what the kind of game that Baldur's Gate is. Yeah. You know, if you saw Divinity: Original <clears throat> Sin, it is that top-down CRPG. You know, very role ro- role-play based kind of game. And to know that a studio of that caliber is working on this IP is amazing. But so. I mean, let's just quickly, like, how do we know, in fact, that this is... Because Brian Fargo, um, who is involved in the original Baldur's Gate, basically... Said, yeah. I happen to know who is working on Baldur's Gate 3. Yes. But he... and, then, and then after that, he followed up with another tweet saying, and here it goes. And then there's the number three. He links the number three, a picture of the number three. From that particular site? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I it's... thought it, it could have been... Shaq Fu 3 you know watch out for the Shaq attack that's what the next one should be called everybody that's what Larian Studios are up to next exactly right so, <laughs> uh, so look that's absolutely huge news for um, for that IP which you know everyone's always wanted some sort of um, you know some sort of sequel to it uh, it's huge it, news for the CRPG genre because you don't see a large number of games in that space anymore yeah um, and I think that so. like, that is like the mo- like, almost like the mother of them in terms of when I when I look back I'm like Baldur's Gate really like it wasn't the first but it was certainly the biggest yeah yeah, yeah. it's kind of like okay was World of Warcraft the, the first MMO no but was it the biggest yes and that's what people look at and go okay well that that's the mother of them you know I, t- to see a third one I think the hype of it will just be like how do you live up to it it's, kinda, it's going to be tricky it's going to be tricky Agreed. to like make an actual uh, real successor to that you know mm-hmm. so uh something else that's uh, just come out actually is warhammer chaos bane uh in terms of a review roundup so we actually i thought it might be good and i haven't even talked to you about this yet so we're doing this live is that like let's do review roundups for the games that have come out in that week are you vaping in the fucking office yeah fuck off don't worry about that oh my god mm. um that's just such a bad example <laughs> didn't, didn't you watch the game awards with the anti-vape oh yeah thing? guys don't vape you might go to, you know. So I thought we'd do weekly review roundups and see the critical consensus on games that have come out that week. Now, okay, Chaos uh, Bane, I've actually been playing for I have not played this. So I, let's review it because that's how we usually do it. So uh, Chaos Bane, I thought, was pretty good. It didn't really live up to what I really was expecting. But all in all, like the campaign felt pretty strong if in, in my opinion. Yeah, exactly, exactly incorrect. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly how incorrect. I usually review things. Uh, so Warhammer Chaos Bane is getting fairly. It's got a really high score of eight point seven from uh, Warhammer Chaos Bane. By the way, just so we're clear, it's a it's a Diablo. It style. looks very Diablo. It's an ARPG, and it's incredibly Diablo. By the way, mm-hmm. I've, I've played about 20-25 hours of it now. I'm just about to finish the campaign on my first character. Um, 
Look, it's fine. Uh, I don't think it's good, though, personally. What's, so what's what's the main problem? Because I mean, with these games, if they're really competing against a game like Diablo, you're always going to comp- compare them to Diablo. So what what, what The main thing is it? that the, in terms of um, the skill diversity is just really lacking. You kind of arrive at a few very specific skills that you just know are the best. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not up to the end game. Oh, you kind of did that with Diablo 3, though, I found. Like, nah, there's there a lot of build diversity. Mm, I mean, sure, 3. but like I really found that it was only one or two or three things that I ended up ever using. But I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, uh, but in terms of story, what was the story like? Almost non-existent story. Uh, very limited Ooh, number of enemies. Two style, okay. <laughs> limited number of enemies. Uh, limited number of environments. Um, just, just a really bare bones offering. And I feel like it's okay. It's just a case of like, if you have Path of Exile or Diablo Three, you've already got a better version of what this game is. Yeah. It's a very hard sell, given that it's a fifty dollar US game. I think it's about eighty four dollars in Australia. I just can't really recommend. Um, buying it you know so i might put out a proper video on it this week but tldr it's fine it's just not good what other games Um, have we recently played that we reviewed i think the last game that we reviewed was i think it was rage 2 yeah Yeah, Yeah, okay we've already done a review on that guys fantastic game okay everyone actually it wasn't that bad like it wasn't fine it was actually fine Yeah. yeah So, uh, also, random out of... I know! What the hell is this, everybody? Okay, Okay, everyone loves Radical Likes because Radical Heights got the... one of the uh, slowest dislike ratios on YouTube, okay? This game is dead, okay? What, I mean... No, this game is actually dead. This this game is dead, okay? Some people... uh, Who's bought them? Justin Rowland. He's the guy that does Rick and Morty. Why would the hell would they buy the rights, man? Like, I mean, like... It doesn't make sense. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so cool. Okay, so just to be clear, G- Radical Heights was the game made by Cliffy, Cliff Blazinski's Cliff collapsed studio, Boss Key Productions. They worked on Lawbreakers. It completely bombed within a week. Then they started, like, spitting up this battle royale set in the, you know, 1980s whatever else. Uh, and then that immediately bombed as well. So the studio went out of business... And now the Rick and Morty creator is buying the rights to it. It for must some, be maybe just buying it ironically, like a part of his collection. Um, like, maybe so at parties he can be like, "You know, I bought the rights to that man." Who maybe knows? it's gonna be part of a fucking episode. You know, who maybe. Knows? Hey, that... hey, hey, Morty! I, 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 bought, I, bought, I bought a you know a shitty company. I, uh, <laughs> oh, I don't know about that, Rick. I don't know if you should have, man. Well, great. You should do the show, Sam. You should I win, can do win it. that. Yeah, that's exactly right. You I should. can do it. Yeah. Um, either way, I have no idea why the fuck he's done that. It's it's mm. one of the weirdest stories of the week. I just thought I'd throw it in there. So, yeah. Okay, what's next? Um, yeah, this is also kind of weird as Iron well, Maiden actually. suing Iron Maiden. Okay, so this is kind of strange. I don't... That guy looks a bit... Oh, I, thought, I thought he looked like... Uh, Norman Reedus? Yeah, yeah did you does. think that? Yeah, the guy was very right. And grew longer hair. And yeah. had a lot more drugs and uh, sex rock and roll than uh, that would be him Kiyo people. After Kojima's done with him, that's what it'll look like. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but like, I don't know if... They, uh, maybe they have a case. I mean, yeah, they kind of maybe the, have a the, case. The explanation for this okay, yeah, is that go. there's a game called Ion Maiden which is really playing up its kind of like metal, you know, <clears throat> puns or whatever else. And it's being sued by Iron Maiden yeah. for copyright infringement for the amount of $2. And they actually allege stuff like, the lawsuit filed claims entertainment company 3D Realms is conducting incredibly blatant <laughs> trademark infringement. Wait until they see our next line of merch. If they want to <laughs> yes! see incredibly We should flagrant. do layman merch with the Iron Maiden. <laughs> That'd be so No, I'm talking good. about the one that we've got planned for E3. That's oh, what, that is going to be even better. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, guys. We've got some incredible E3 merch. We okay, do. So anyway, it said, could lead to confusion among consumers. Defendant's Iron Maiden name is, is uh, nearly identical to the Iron Maiden's trademark in appearance, sound, and overall commercial impression. Defendant also uses the Iron Maiden name to sell merchandise, including t-shirts and mouse pads. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, look, I mean, I think, a good, I think it's a pretty good uh, opportunity. Look, we're, we're going to be suing another YouTuber. Um, his name's Skillup. That's right. Uh, he uses a very similar, like, you know, face of one of the people on here, and I'm sick of it. I'm fucking sick of it. Nah. And we're taking him to court because he makes shit content, <laughs> and he's bringing down our brand, everybody. Okay, yeah. so watch this space. Yeah. Next one, uh, Weird Baby. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so let's just make sure this is on mute, actually. Oh, so we don't want to... Okay, we don't want to yeah, hear it. Yeah. No, otherwise it'll copy strike. Oh, weird, uh, okay, Weird Baby... Uh, what I meant was so let's Death just, Stranding. Let's talk about Death Stranding, right? Because we haven't actually done a reactions video to Death Stranding, right? Uh, um, no, we didn't. We didn't, no. we didn't talk about what we thought about it. So obviously the Death Stranding trailer <laughs> dropped this week. It's the new game from Hideo Kojima's studio. Um, you know, it's his big. It's next big thing after Metal Gear. He's put it together in the last three years. 
Um, mm. We just saw we've we've had hints about what this game is up to this point, but now we've seen the most fleshed out, most developed trailer drop two days ago. Mm -hmm. Internet went absolutely insane. Sam, what do you think? Okay, um, have you ever seen that uh, Mr. Plow ad on uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> on yeah, Simpsons? Too. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, was that your ad? I don't know. Exactly. It's always like that though. But you know, he's got this whole genius uh, protection, you know, and I get that because you know he's 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 got his stripes. Let's face it. But yet again, um, we don't really know what this game is. It's very hard to really know exactly what it is. Now, Hideo did go to Twitter and be like, "Hey, this is not going to be a stealth game." Okay, so at least we know it's not a stealth game. But it's an action game. But the his, his description was also like. It's a it's a game about creating links between people. It's a it's a it's a strand yeah. game. But duh, obviously. Uh, 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 and then we're like, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, yeah, I knew that. Well, Sorry, look, you know those people that are like art shows have got no idea but they want to fit in. Oh yeah, I mean, I get this. Yeah, I know it's hard. Like, uh, I've got no fucking idea. I'm really looking forward to uh, hearing the Kodak in this. Colonel, like that. If he brings him back in some cheeky way, that'd be incredible. I'd love to see like you know, solid eel. <laughs> that'd be fucking great. Uh, solid no? eel. Yeah, no, no, I think no, that'd no. be great. Yeah, All right, no. solid it's, eel. Bring no, him back. Um, Revolver. I got nothing. <laughs> what rhymes with ocelot? Chat? Oh, there's Ocel the ladder. I there's the ladder. Okay. What's real? Um, <laughs> so, so look. Here's what I think. I think this looks incredible from a design perspective. Like, sure. just the the presentation of it, the imagination, the style, just just every part of it just oozes substance and coolness and you just want to fucking experience yeah. whatever it is it looks right? like a very fleshed out world and i just don't think hideo is going to be the type that kind of creates a trailer that's going to be like downgraded graphics and shit like i, I don't just, know i'm not worried about that yeah i just don't feel like that's that's part but, of his like you know the, arsenal i just don't think so but, I, I think that what we're seeing now is very much like visually what we're going to expect it, you know in an eight minute trailer it there was so much world that we could look at at the same time we don't know what the fuck it is but it looks fleshed out well thought out Correct. interesting um, it looks super interesting and that's yeah. it i mean look gameplay wise i have no idea if this is going to be a good game and if it's a terrible game i wouldn't be surprised as in like because I don't have any expectations about whether or not this is a good yeah. video game to play and like that all I will, mm. yeah all I will say is that it looks incredible stylistically and story wise and everything about that so I'm already down for it plus I just trust Hideo man I, you know I just he's just a fucking genius so. yeah I just think that you know um, some people I don't think I don't think Hideo Kojima of course is a one trick pony I don't think he's gonna you know create Metal Gear and that's all he can do of course um you know, but I think that there is a lot on the line right now. <clears throat> yeah, like the video. Yeah, I think there's just a... likes this video. Yeah, let's do it anyway. Someone said eight eight k dislikes from Konami. Let's do it. Please. <laughs> We're not disliking Hideo's work. Are you mad? And I think that I think in this a perfect example of like, uh, if it does miss the mark, um, it'll, it'll be a shame. You know, because there is a lot on the uh, on the line. There's a right lot now. on the line. People are like, okay, can he do this again? You know, we've got this weird baby thing. Like, what the fuck is it? I mean. Yeah, who knows? I mean, I, all I know is I'm super psyched for it. It's going to be out November eighth, I believe, is the release tenth, date. Isn't it? Is it tenth or eighth or, or tenth? It's Come November right. sometime, which means it's not that far away. Again, you know, mad props to him for putting this together in three years. I read somewhere it was some joke that I read on Reddit, which is like, <laughs> oh, that's right, it was something like, um, you know, Anthem to six years. <laughs> like in, uh, you know, Hideo Kojima. You know, finished Metal Gear, got fired from Konami, set up a new studio, uh, and built an entirely new IP, ready to be shipped by November. In the same amount of time, it took Square Enix to make two trailers for Final Fantasy VII oh, Remake. So true. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's that is like, so true. Yes, that's who ever said that on Reddit. That was <sighs> genius. You know what they really need to do is uh, Konami needs to just give the rights to Kojima. Can you imagine if he had the full rights and they were like, look, we'll take 20% of whatever it is, but you just do whatever you want with Metal Gear. I think that would I'm be actually incredible. glad to see Kojima move on to other things. I reckon uh, he's told some fantastic stories with, um, with, you know, with Metal Gear. Yeah. And I'd be, I'm really glad and interested to see what he produces next. So personally, yeah, I, mean, look, I, I love I, it. I think it's always good to create new things. I'm just saying that was he completely done with Metal Gear? Maybe. Oh, no, he wasn't because 5 wasn't even finished, but yeah. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? So like maybe he, you know, it, he could have done both things. He could have done a Death Stranding and then came back to Metal Gear and built that kind of repertoire of different types of stuff, you know? Mm. I would like to see that. And there's, and 
who knows if they'll if they'll ever give him the rights because they know that's where the money's at. But I mean, really, Kaji- uh, uh, Konami just makes money off freaking poker machines. That's, that's true. Pachinko. It. Pachinko. So uh, another quick story we can knock over uh, is that uh, it's more than no, likely yeah, no image found. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, this is Resetra, where and this is a true story. I'm banned on Resetra's forums because they think I'm alt right. That's actually a true story, by the way. I, he is. If you are not allowed to post skill up related stuff on Resetra because the mods will ban it yep. because I'm alt-right because I didn't think that PewDiePie was a Nazi. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unless you agree that PewDiePie is a Nazi, Resetra will you ban you. You guys are disgusting it if is. you think that PewDiePie is not a racist and not a Nazi. So, so, um, so anyway, um, Resetra here, this post is basically saying that Ubisoft mm-hmm. is going to release a premium pass. So you know how we were talking about the Xbox Game Pass? It looks like we're going to be getting the same thing from Ubisoft. Yep. So you'll be able to subscribe every month to them and get access to all of their games. Interesting. It's not remotely surprising given the fact mm-hmm. that, you know, obviously Everyone uh, their EA is already it. doing it. Um, you've got Xbox Game Pass. You've got other sorts of things. PlayStation's doing it too, right? In their own way. What's no, it called they're... again? PlayStation... Uh, play, uh, PS Now or whatever. PS Now or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think that's a similar thing, right? Yeah, but everyone and their dog is doing this. And we even said this, you know, kind of at the beginning of the channel... This is the future, and when 5G really comes around, and you can just do a subscription model and go through a library, a library like Netflix, press on a game, and it just it streams automatically. It just seems like the the, the natural thing to do. Yeah. The big problem here is, got you, you know, uh, if you include, you know, uh, Origin, um, you know, and you include, I don't know, whatever, like uh, three or four different. Um, storefronts ends up being 60 or 70 dollars a month by the time you've even yeah that's true you know and like that's that's but then the again like look, yeah, but the, yeah 60 70 dollars a month think about it though like i mean a lot of core gamers certainly people watching this channel would be buying a game a month at least fine i'm fine. buying a lot more than that fine know? but um, i'm just thinking a lot of people will not get that value because they really end up just playing one or two games a month right um or they just play the same game all the time like i do with overwatch like you know that that kind of happens you know and just I, to interrupt, sorry. Our Lord and Saviour, yes, we did talk about COD. Um, we basically don't really care because we don't trust Activision. But, yes. You know. So, rewatch <laughs> so anyway, it. Let's keep going. Hey, no, yeah. there's Nitro in the chat, but thank you very Nitro. much. Nitro! Nitro. Oh, he's, our, uh, he's our mod. He's, he's our Lord legend. and Saviour, really. So, thanks for being here, man. Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about uh, Ubisoft's Premium Pass model. Yeah, it's, so... It's going to happen. I They'll announce it at E3, most likely. I think so. that in the future, there'll be b- companies that come along and go where, like Microsoft, like huge giant companies that, you know, kind of hold the console market. And they'll probably give you, you know, 60 b- bucks a month, you get Bethesda, Ubisoft, e- EA bundle. Yeah. That's the only way to make it actually cost effective. Because at mm. the moment, it's just not going to be feasible for most gamers out there, you know? Or they'll always have to keep that whole, you can subscribe or you can just buy the game. They'll have to do one yeah, of the yeah, two. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they'll have to put both of them, you know? So uh, so moving on. Now, this is a very interesting story. A this very one here, daring, it's a, it's a praise Geraldo story, ladies okay. and gentlemen. It's very possible that the man himself is going to be making his way to oh. Nintendo Switch. Multiple listings have appeared online for... The greatest, the masterpiece, yeah. the uh, the underrated gem that no one seems to have heard of, but hopefully it gets picked yeah, up and no gets the de- this, hopefully yeah. it gets the just the the recognition it deserves soon when it makes its way onto Switch. Hopefully this will be the breakthrough moment for this. I, title. I think uh, I've only played like two or three hours of this game. I really need to actually play more of this game. But let's face it, I mean, there's no other game that I would rather actually start playing apart from Dark Souls. But <laughs> but he logs on every night and plays fucking Overwatch. I love Overwatch, people. But I, I do actually want to see it because I'm going away, as you guys know. And having this on... I mean, we're not going to have this on the plane. It's not coming out soon. But no. something like this while you're traveling would be fantastic because, of course, it is a gigantic world. You can jump in. The DLC is like 20 hours a pop. There's a lot of game that you get out of this. And the Switch... I don't know if the Switch has a lot of games on there at the moment that you can play for like a hundred hours or yeah, like hundred or two hundred hours like what like i mean breath of the wild is what 60 hours That's and like then, at least a hundred hours if you want to do like a lot of the things um, skyrim for example show off, show off. final I, fantasies I i've just been given final fantasy 10 actually so i want to play that on the plane yeah well you know so. give it to me for god's sakes okay no, you don't even play final fantasies Anyway, we're still waiting for oh Final God. Fantasy VII. We didn't even cover the recent trailer there, did we? We did, why? we covered it, we covered it. Oh, we did. We just well, let's face good. it, there's nothing really to show anyway. It's the same reused stuff. Mm. Like, yeah. it's it's a giant meme, but we do think that we're going to see some stuff at E3 on that too. Yes, definitely, we definitely will. Yep. Um, so, uh, let's switch over now to news about Cyberpunk 2077. It's a good segue coming from Geraldo. Um, Schreier. Now, look, Jason Schreier is... 
Uh, Kotaku journalist, uh, don't hold that against him because he <laughs> is absolutely the most news-breaking man in the games industry. Apart from Lehman. Even if you don't like him, you have to agree with that. It's not yep. even up for discussion. Um, he basically has come out and said in this tweet yesterday, or a few days ago actually, saying that Cyberpunk is absolutely not coming out this year. This got all the upvotes across all of Reddit and everyone took it as confirmation yeah. that we're not going to see Cyberpunk this year. I was curious about this because I've heard, certainly heard otherwise so I where was, have you heard this from Ralph? i just i've heard this from different people throughout the industry <laughs> oh, okay right? okay so, so are we breaking so, some news today people <laughs> no i don't have i don't have any inside lines is into ralph it. saying some things that you shouldn't no no, no. we don't I, actually know anything but I, I wish i knew but unfortunately i don't and i'll, I'll I, but i definitely heard from multiple sources people are like oh yeah man i think it's this year and i'm like mm, okay i've heard it from enough people that i'm like so then jason Schreier went out and clarified he's like this has gotten a lot of reddit attention so to clarify I've heard from three sources that Cyberpunk was aiming for 2019. I told you, that's what I've heard as well. Mm -hmm. But belief around the studio was that it was an unrealistic target. I expect first half of 2020, or maybe even an E3 announcement of 2019, then a delay to 2020. Oh, yeah. So, okay. Which is not an uncommon strategy because if you announce it for this year, you get to build a lot of hype, you get a lot of pre-orders behind it, a lot of momentum coming out of E3. And then if you have to delay it, everyone's like... Good guy, CD Projekt Red, yeah. taking their time to get yeah. it right. We love you, CD Projekt Red. It's Project actually one Red, of the know? very rare times where, like, if you can't deliver, everyone's like, yes, they didn't deliver. That's sick, you know? Yeah, everyone yeah, loves true. that about uh, some people get Some games. people get butthurt about it, but most people with a brain are like, oh, yeah, that's good. Let, like, yeah. let, let it take yeah. its time. I think Anthem know? probably needed another 12 years, but uh, that's okay. Um, <laughs> it didn't need another 12 years. So, look, hopefully we do see it this year, but again, not if it's not ready. I'm more than happy to wait for it until it's done. Uh, but I've certainly heard that it is, they're aiming for this year as well. I just don't think that it's smart to do it because Death Stranding is dropping in November. Give it the space it probably needs because it feels like it's going to be the Red Dead of like fucking, you know, everyone wanted to get away from Red Dead. And I think it's probably a very similar thing here. So strategically, uh, development wise, it sounds like a better thing to give this, you know, two months breathing space. So if November is Death Stranding, uh, you know, a January or Feb release sounds like a pretty good thing to do. For, I mean, everyone's going to line up yeah. for Cyberpunk anyway, but yeah. just, just give that kind of both great games a bit of space from each other. You yeah, know? I reckon, yeah, there's going to be nothing releasing in November now, I guess, now that Hideo has said, I'm coming Absolutely in Absolutely not. It's just like he oh, slapped wait. it on the table, like, boom, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in November, bitch, and everyone's like, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm out. You know? But I think that uh, <laughs> Call of Duty is like the only one that's going to be... Well, that's oh, in October. They... Okay, sure. Yeah. October. Well, they'll, they'll bring it to the really front of October. They'll be like as much time as I possible. I think it's early October, so I think it's quite safe. So yeah, yeah. okay. Okay, um, what else we got? Well, we there's got two more stories. Two, two more stories. Um, the first one is that there's a Rockstar developer or former top executive, in fact, who has been accused of groping people. Now, this yes. is obviously an accusation. Please don't sue us, Rockstar. Yeah. Uh, but basically, one of the <laughs> boss men, uh, his name was. Uh, I, I, I don't know say if you actually pronounce this Geronimo or, Geronimo or Geronimo I don't know hey, Ferreira, Geronimo. I'm not sure hey. um, he was the vice president of product development apparently had a very bad reputation around the studio as being a bit of a dick and, and just yelling, kind of yelling at and people shit. and firing them on the spot and being an asshole yeah. and there's one accusation from one person that he kind of groped someone. He invited them Asked to, him to rub his and... thigh or something. Right? Yeah, that's pretty um, that's pretty, pretty oh, messed up. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So and anyway, uh, that's the accusation right now. This yeah. guy obviously denies it, but they're going to go through the whole round of court stuff. Rockstar obviously has been in trouble in the past for its sort of like toxic culture where it's had lots of crunch. Yeah. It's had sort of like... Uh, look, I can imagine... Working at Rockstar was kind of like uh, the Wolf of Wall Street back in the back in the you yes. know those early scenes. That's kind of like how I'm imagining yeah, 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 Rockstar yeah. was in its heyday before all of the like you know HR came along. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah, yeah. That's really what I'm imagining that to be. So it doesn't right. surprise me that there's been some crazy shenanigans going on. If yeah. true, allegedly, allegedly, yeah, allegedly. allegedly. Apparently, because in the in the uh, article it says that people would rub him the wrong way. I'm like, well, I don't know if they should put that in the quiet. You know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we won't go there. <laughs> we won't go there. And uh, last story. Um, oh wait! I oh, one know. of these annoying things. Oh, that's so annoying. Just, just, I, just I go can't. down. You can read it a little bit. You can't. They won't let you. Oh, scroll. it's actually in the OneDrive. Yeah, it's in the OneDrive. No, no, no. I can. Can I do this? Okay, maybe you can talk about the story while I log in. Okay, guys. So Stan Lee, right? Some guy apparently took a lot of money and bet. Uh, you know, he was he was a real dick to Stan Lee. Taking advantage everybody. of Stan Lee being old and impressionable because yeah. he was old. Was he the guy that used to be? In, like next to him when he would do live chats because there was always a dude that would always be like accompanying Stan Lee I think it might have been him he yes. was always quite close 
in proximity. Uh, maybe that yeah. was him. So anyway, this guy basically has now been arrested. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he was basically, you know, Stanley's caregiver in his older years and has, turns out, has stolen hundreds of thousands of dollars from him. And uh, this guy was actually running from the law at some point. And I think on Morgan, uh, on Sunday, his name was uh, Morgan, uh, mm -hmm. appeared in um, Mar Marcy Copa County Superior Court on a charge of being a fugitive of justice. Yeah. Uh, he's 43. He's been arrested in Arizona the day before and accused of fleeing California charges of fiduciary elder, uh, elder abuse, yeah. which is basically taking advantage of old people for I wouldn't money. Wanna, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be it's, on the... This is his list of charges. Yeah. Uh, Long, theft, embezzlement, forgery, fraud against an elder, and false imprisonment of an elder. They took more than two hundred sixty-two thousand dollars from Lee's uh, autograph sessions in July. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the wrong end of Stan Lee because he'll get the Avengers on you. Maybe. Oh! Wow! Oh yeah! That's, uh, yeah! That's probably a good time to Woo! end the episode. Uh, that's absolutely <laughs> the, low the lowest point of the episode, and time to go. Uh, so guys, that's it for the week. That's the Layman uh, Weekly Dump. We will probably do one... Well, I mean... We'll I will be, probably do one next Friday. I mean, we do on one every cycle. day, really. But the Layman Dump, we'll do that on uh, Friday, everybody. So tune in. Uh, let us know in the comment section below if there's stuff you want us to cover next week. Uh, don't forget displayed as well. The stuff in the background. Yeah. We'll have some more displays up next week as well. They've got a sell on this weekend. You can get 30% off. Um, there's no sell on the Majora's Mask. I was going to say, we're not selling that. Or uh, Cacti. Uh, but we're selling Ralph's position on the show. Uh, highest Six bidder, bucks. two bucks. You know, Six that's bucks. fine. So. Guys, thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, we will see you next, next week. Next time. Bye-bye.